In this episode, I'll show you how we take this hood from pinstriping for this 1973 Barracuda, color matching the paint for the insert stripe, measuring and mixing our base coat, and sending this hood off into clear on this episode of Muscle Rod Shop. So this is the hood for the yellow Cuda out there in the shop, this car right here. And uh, we don't have to paint it on the, on the car. We can actually put the header panel. So this panel right here connects up to the fenders. It bolts up to the fenders. And uh, it looks just like this. You see how this works? Header panel bolts up to the fenders. Same exact car. Just different motor obviously so panel and then the hood sits in this little pocket and what we're doing is putting a stripe on it and that stripe will come down onto this header panel so this is not the demo car again it is the cuda the yellow car that's sitting up there right now that's the one that's the car dang look at that green oh my god mm. anyways we're going to stripe this hood it's my compadre, honey. Yep. What color is it going to go? Hey, what? What color is it going to go? Silver. The, the stripe on this is going to go, so we're actually going to do a big insert, and it's got to come down to here, run across, back up, and only uh, run along the sides of the, um, what do you call that thing? Shaker, the shaker. Yeah, shaker. So it's good to have all your panels lined up. You don't have to do this on the car, although it's really good to. Uh, you can do it here just fine, and it'll line up just fine when it's done. So I'll uh, show you that process.
stripe is done. Okay, so let me explain a couple things here. Now you can see the insert. So that hood is um, pearl black, and then the insert will be a silver color. And this is what that paint looks like when it's clear coated, that insert we just put in there. Really cool color. That's why I put the pinstripe down. Okay, so where you, so this will go silver. Where, you, where you're seeing the blue, that will be the black. And then that is the silver there, and then it'll continue black after this pinstripe. So it goes from a square, and now you can see the black's gonna run across the top. Just little details like that mean a lot. So it's gonna run all the way down. Then you always wanna wrap around the front so that when the hood's shut, it, the paint actually goes down in there a little bit. And it's good detail too. Same thing with the header panel right there. And then that pinstripe's gonna come down and then go into a point. You see that point right there? All that dirt is? Into the point. And then we also have that same black color will go along the front end too. So now I'll walk you through the paint process with Jaime. And this is our paint bank. You see the mixing bank here, it's just constantly going. I think it goes like what, every hour or something, it, it starts mixing. And all these colors. You can make any color out of all these. Any color over here. Every single one of them. Really nice stuff too. All the way down, other colors here, and about 5,000 colors here. That's kind of dirty, but you get the point. So then you open these up, for example, you've got all your blues and all that kind of stuff. Uh, all your colors. So what he'll do is go and match the color. Okay, so you can see how those two match it's a really good match and then he'll go and put it in this uh this the uh in the computer here all right so once the code is in and you have the number of this which is our our color we're going to put on that hood so we're going to we're going to click enter enter password and then you put your password in. Don't look. Okay. All right. And then it gives you all the things that, that are in that color. Okay, so you're gonna add your reducer. And this is all the products that are in this specific color to make on that chart. Every one of these. And they have to be mixed perfectly by the gram. Mm -hmm and it'll give you your color. So like for example, the um, that UR50, that's that's a reducer just to get it going. And that BC101, that would be... BC101, right here. BC101, what is that? That is pitch control. You don't know what it is, but it sounds pretty cool. Then you got BC 140, 185, all the way down. Let's say, uh, whatever that is, the violet one. The violet is 300, BC 300. So you come over here and you're looking for BC 300 right there. So the next thing you're gonna do is type in the amount. So we're going off ounces and that's gonna be about six. Okay. And six ounces is that much there so that should looks like it should be enough maybe a little extra to do that hood and click enter so we got a can ready on the scale and we're gonna start all right so it says reducer you need 10.1 so on the scale it says 10.1 right now and we're gonna go until that says zero don't mess up. <laughs> oh. No. Uh -huh. Oh my. Dude. There we 
going to do BC 101 flop control. So as he's doing it on there, this thing's, let's see it's going. And he's got to get right to zero. Oh, perfect. There it is. Yep. So once it's at zero, then we can go to sounds good, click it OK, and it'll bring up the next one. Yeah, 140. Okay. And it needs eight. And so on. So you got to do that through the entire process. And then once this is all mixed up in, and you got all the colors mixed in it, then we'll take it over to the mixing machine and mix it up really good. All right, so Jaime's mixed it. I mean, well, it's not mixed, but no. all the colors are put in, and this is what it looks like right now. That's before it's mixed. Looks really cool. Dang. So this will turn into our color. And then he puts it in here, hooks up the shaker, and then just shake it retarded. There we go. So this will be sitting in the middle of that hood and have some black screens in those holes. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look really good. So right now I'm doing the exhaust. Paul's taking care of the exhaust under here, getting that situated, and getting the fuel tank put in. It's coming along pretty good. That's some big exhaust too. But it's also a giant Hemi in this thing, so you kind of need it. We got the cutouts put in, just to make it even more ridiculous loud. And it is a Hemi, so it's got those giant headers coming out. Look how close it is to the wall right there, that's nuts. But overall looking pretty good, looking real good. All right, so just finished the base. Now y'all can see exactly what I was talking about. So you got that black across the top. After the tape's off, now we can see. Pin stripe all the way down. And then in the front, it lips over. You got a really nice edge. Same thing with the header panel. It comes over the backside just a little bit so that when the hood's closed, you can't see, uh, well, you don't have a black line right here. So that stripe follows over. Then you got this coming into a point, same thing with the other side, and um, it curves and then goes into black right here on the very front. Pretty cool look. So, Next up is clear coat. There you go, it's all done. Clear coat on and ready to go. So we're gonna wait for this to dry. And once it's dry, then we're gonna go wet sand it and polish it. And that'll be the last clear on this. So there's, you shoot the black first, then clear it, then wet sand it, then come back and shoot the silver on, and then clear it and wet sand it and polish. We're done. You can see. Peel in it, but that gets sanded and polished out, so it'll come out real nice. It's good along the back, back edge too. It's awesome, really clean and crispy. Beautiful, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Muscle Rod Shop. Uh, I appreciate everyone out there for supporting us. Please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell for more content coming up soon. All right, we'll see you later.